Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Hey, in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install LibreCAD on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. In order to download, simply open your browser and search for LibreCAD. Let me tell you that LibreCAD is a computer aids designing application. Using this application, you can do your architecture work for your computer illustration and it's the best alternative to AutoCAD. Now to download, simply open the link from librecad.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download Librecad. Now to download, simply click on this download option. Here select your operating system and select any of the download link. And here click on download the latest version. And here you can see it is downloading, it is around 24 MB. So let me complete the download process and after that I'll show you how you can install and set up LibreCAD on Windows 11. Our download has been completed. Now to install, simply open this installer file. So here we have our LibreCAD setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here read the license agreement, then click on next. Here we have an option to change the installation location. If you want to change this installation location, then you can simply click on this browse button and browse your location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default and here click on install. And here you can see it is installing. So it will take some time to install. After the installation has been completed, here simply click on close. And here you will find LibreCAD shortcut icon. You can use this icon to open LibreCAD. Or else you can also search for LibreCAD on the search option. And open this application. And here you will find a window from where you can change your language. So this is the interface of LibreCAD. You can use this LibreCAD to create your architecture related graphics. So that's it. This is how you can download and install LibreCAD on Windows 11. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.